All right, welcome back to the channel. And this is Coach Evans here with Sip the Teller Films. And today's video is kind of to try to put people at, at ease and just R E L A X. Video is about Pat Queen. Roll the intro. So it's, it's a lot of back and forth on the internet, a lot of hoopla about Pat Queen and what he can and can't do. Uh, he sucks. We need to trade him. Uh, he ain't improved. And the man is, he's young. He, I think, I think we can try to make him be the great middle linebackers that we've had. And he's not that. He may never be that, but he's a solid football player. And does he have stuff to pr improve on? Yes. Uh, is he complete trash like the, the, the internet and the Twitter verse is making him out to be? I don't think so. But let's dive into a couple of plays early from the first half and see the wrong and the right. And just um, I think everything that, that's wrong with Pat Queen can be corrected. It's probably taking longer than we want to, but he's a young player, man. He's, what, 22, maybe 23 years old. Only didn't even start um, his senior, well, his last year at LSU. Starting like game three or whatever. And, you know, that's where we at with it. Let's dig, dig into the film with uh, Pat Queen. All right, obviously, Queen is right here. And I don't even remember what's on this play. I pulled five plays. I don't remember what he, what's even on this play. Let's watch it. All right, this is part of the problem. It's part of the problem that, that we all see he has. And we'll see it from the back of the view. Just getting caught up in the wash. Getting caught up in the wash. So let's let's try to figure out which which gap is his. I mean, pre-snap, I would say this gap is his, but I'm not sure. Maybe he's gonna cross his face and it's over here or something. Okay, now they shuffle. So now I'm gonna say this gap is Queens. And I'm all right. I'm right. He got that that a gap right there. He dives into the a gap early, and he's where he's supposed to be. But now he can't get back over the top because he's so deep in there. So is is this Queen's fault? He's in his gap. Uh, six to nine is the guy that's not in his gap. Or six to nine should be over here. Well, we got we got two guys in the same gap. That's what's wrong. Six to nine should try to cross face, or Queen should have been there. Now, what I think should happen is most linebackers have to read the guards. And most, most, and on the lower level, I don't know about the NFL, them guys know more than me. But most linebackers have to read the guards. And that guard step right there, he's supposed to feel it, which is what he's supposed to do. He's supposed to feel it. Now, his gap is right here, and then 97's gap is there. I'm assuming um, Deshaun got that gap. And maybe Bowser got that one. That's what I'm assuming. Then you got um, Harrison right there and O.A. outside. So that's everybody in the gap. But the, pen the, the penetration is because you got a double right here. Now, we can say, yeah, he got caught up in a wash. But he where he's supposed to be. He's in his gap where he's supposed to be. Now, yeah, you know, this dude got blowed up and it looks like Queen's caught up in a wash. But we, he where he's supposed to be. His gap integrity is fine. But it don't look that way to the naked eye. Let's go to play two. See what's going on. Let's see what's going on. But we know what Queen at. He right here. Right there. Into the line again. In the wash. Bad angle. Into the line again. In the wash. Bad angle. All right, now let's see if we can figure out what gap he's got. Now he's stacked behind the nose tackle. So I don't know which one has what, but one has this gap and one has the other. That simple. Calais got that. Uh, he got, I think that 62 got that. Um, Penel McPhee got C. Uh, Malik and Chuck. One of them has this gap. One of them has that gap. And Bowser has outside. Deshaun's the extra guy. So Juicy tries to Juicy goes that way. Queen steps this way. So this is Queen Gap right here. 
He fits. Again, Queen is right where he's supposed to be. In his gap. The back just don't choose to go there. Now, maybe since he sees this opening, he should take that. But he's right where he's supposed to be. And maybe he should just shoot it. He, and he probably should have just shot it. Probably. And he'd have made that tackle for a loss. That that negative part of it, yes. But as far as where he's supposed to be, he's in his gap. He's in his gap. He should he should really just, just shoot that. Now, all the naysayers that say he should shoot that, you're right on this one. He should. I'm, I'm not going to try to, you know, um, talk him up or, or, or coach or make it look like he's right in every situation because he... With the, when this gap opened up right there, with in the position that this is in, shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. Because you see the ball in there. And then if it's play fake, you're already in the line of scrimmage anyway. And now with him not just going ahead and shooting it, you got a puller. You know what? And if he shoot if he shoot that, uh tight end probably kick him out. I didn't, I didn't see the tight end. If he shoots this right now, the tight end probably just come wipe him out. And then it's a huge cutback for the running back. And then just the chase, the chase afterwards, he just took a bad angle. Let's go to play the next play. I think I got two on this one. Let's see. Let's see what I got. All right. Um, so this is Queen here. And again, I don't remember what this is. In the line. Now this is what we don't want. This is this is why everybody's on his butt right here. This is why everybody's on his butt. So again, let's try to figure out the gaps. There, there. And again, they could be switching these gaps. I'm just going off what it looks like pre-snap alignment. Like, you know, NFL do all kind of exotic stuff, so they could be switching these gaps. I'm just going off pre-snap alignment. So pre-snap alignment, he got that. But again, most linebackers have to read guards. So if this is his gap, and he reading this guard, when this guard pulls around, in my eyes, he should go with the guard that way. In this direction that I'm making the line go. He should go with the guard that way. Should. And if he does, it puts him right there. If he does that initially, instead of just going straight to the line. If he scrapes, if he sees that guard pulling and scrapes over the top, that puts him right in the open spot that's going to open up. Instead of taking that step up to the line, see your guard gone. And now, by not scraping earlier, he allows this guy to get on him. Now, if that, if that guy blocks him when he right here, that's different. That's a huge difference. It's a huge difference. That, like I said, that's one of the things you know, that the, the criticism he's getting for plays like that warranted, like completely warranted. I think I got another play on this one. I do. All right, this queen here. Let's see what we got. Oh, this is the play I tweeted earlier. This is the play I tweeted. They said they said they said he can't cover. Said he can't cover and he can't recognize his own stuff. This is the play I tweeted earlier. Watch him carry number three. And then when three gets to a certain depth, he passes him on and then gets his eyes on number two. Two comes in on the whip. He takes the whip out with him. They said he didn't understand zone drops and stuff like that. The eyes, he walling off the number three. Number three continues vertical. He so now he walls off number two. Number two plants and plants and runs a little whip. And he right on his case. Now could he stop him from catching it? Probably not. But he right where he need to be. He right where he need to be if he catch it. Let's go to the last. This is the last play we got on Queen. Alright, Queen is here. And all these from early in the game. So it was a lot of more stuff that went on throughout the game. All these plays from early in the game.
Yeah, bad angle. Bad angle. Calms down. Attacking the line of scrimmage. But right now, shoot. Shoot that. Use your speed and shoot that right there. And if he bounces outside, then ain't you. Let's go, let's go to the back view of it. All right. Queen is here. And again, with him being stacked behind, I don't know if he got this gap or this gap. But they probably, you know, one of these two people got those two, those corresponding gaps. All right, he steps in. So technically, this is his gap right there. That's his gap. He's in it. Just go ahead and feel it. Just go ahead and feel it. You're in it. Just, just go. come on and feel it. Come on and feel it. Come on and feel it. That's all you got to do. Don't wait. That little pause of hesitation is what got him. Because he's scraping. He's scraping like he's supposed to. But that little pause allows Swift to get up out of there. I don't know what he saw or why he didn't go. But that little pause allows Swift to get out there. Because he can shoot that. And you can see it from the, the, uh, the wide angle. He shoot that. That's a tackle for minimal gain. Let's see if we can find it. So Queen is here. And this, this is where the little gap about to open up where I just came from. Ah, oh, crap. I hit the wrong one. Crap, crap, crap. So let me see if I can go back and find it. Okay, right there. That's Queen right there in the middle. Right there where I marked it. And if he go ahead and shoot it, he make that tackle right here on the 30. That's a no game. That's a no game. But even though most of this has been, like, bad and showing you why people, somewhere on my eye, why people are criticizing Queen, I think everything can be corrected. Just, just take a look at this play. Just be right there. For me. If, that, if this is him, if I'm him, I just take that one step back. So instead of being at four yards, I'm going to be at five. That way I can see better. And when the lanes open up, I can hit them. Now, and that, then, and with that, I, won't, I don't get caught up in the wash so fast. So when I take my, my run read steps, I end up in the line and, and can potentially get blocked down or or caught by another lineman. Just take it one step back. I think will slow him down. Now he don't have to play slower, but it'll slow his read down because he had it. It's further away from him, if that makes sense. And I think that's the key to fixing this. But again, those NFL guys know way more football than me. This is just my lonely two cents based off what I see on tape. I don't know what's going on in practice. I don't know like what his mental capacity is. Just going off what I see on the tape. But I think backing up a yard, maybe even half a yard, put him at four and a half and start at, at four. That'll you know slow the slow the process down for him and allow him to do the things he needs to. Now when he gets there, yes, he gotta make tackles. Yes, he missed a lot of tackles, but he also make a lot of them too. And like as I was watching this game earlier today, like on and you know, so I can back it up and go back and forth and whatnot, he made a lot of plays too. He does it like this play right here. He messed up on. He made this play later, and he shot that gap and tackled him for like a one yard gain or maybe a no yard gain. So it, it's good plays throughout this game from Queen, but it's just glaring when he goes for the 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 jugular and misses. And he's not the only one to do that. So why is he getting all the blame? I'm not sure. Maybe because they're expecting him to be something he's not, and probably would never get to. Dare I say that? I think some people are expecting fifty two. And he'll never be 52. But he can be the best six he can be. And I think he fits what we do, especially with what's in front of him, and especially when those other guys come back to, to be in front of him. I think he's going to you know, handle it. And the fact that we activated Bynes today, I don't think that has no bearing on PQ. I really don't. I don't think that has any bearing on PQ. But, you know, we'll see coming Sunday at 425 Eastern. And, um... This has been my video on Pat Queen, man. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you do like what you see, you know, hit the bell so you can be notified when these randomly drop. And, um, man, I really appreciate you guys. We hit 5,800 the other day. Uh, since the season has started back, since the season has started back, uh, things have kind of picked up around here. And I just want to say thank you guys, and I appreciate you guys. And I hope you continue to rock with me because you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. And I appreciate it. Again, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.